Hello everyone. I know it's been a hot minute since I've been live, but gosh, life has been super busy, so I do apologize. Um, I wanted to kind of get on here and talk about all things convention, because convention really did kind of light a fire under me, and I'm really going to try to do more, be more, all that fun stuff. But... Hey Tess, how are you my love? I did want to talk about all things convention. And I think where I want to start, because I think when a lot of people think of like a makeup convention or anything that's convention like, you think of it, they only talk about that one thing. And I have to say, wow, this was such an eye opener because this was a, unique makeup convention. Yes. Hi, I'm good, tired. I've been up since 6.45 in the morning. You know, the back to school thing today, it was rough. Two kids, two different schools too. Oh. Um, yeah, so it kind of blew my mind because you, they didn't even really talk about the makeup, which was amazing. Cause the amazingness is the makeup in itself, but I learned a lot more about the company that I never knew, which I don't think a lot of people may know. So convention was so amazing to meet new people, to meet all the girls on my team that were stuck in my, you know, camera on my phone. I got to see them in person, which was amazing. Um, yeah. So essentially, I did not make bullet points, as you know. I know, me too. But they were more about uplifting and empowerment and believing in yourself. So like all the breakout classes that we went to, they did not mention the makeup. Nope, that didn't happen. It was more about stepping into your greatness, believing in who you are, and time management and task management, which honestly, it does not matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you have an office job, if you have uh, anything. Time management is life. It just is. So the fact that they had classes about that and they had a class that was about limiting beliefs basically you're limiting yourself to what you do because you don't believe in yourself and they had speakers come up who have been where you have been and it was so 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 inspiring like i can't even so we got our we got a little notebook how 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 pretty is that and what I did was I wrote down some of the things that I got out of, it's not a lot, trust me, it's okay. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to read you some of my favorite things that I got from the speakers that spoke to me because this was so amazing. So there was a speaker who said the level of respect you give yourself as a business owner is the level others will give you. And honestly, this spoke to me because I sometimes shy away from being in the spotlight. So I don't truly believe sometimes in myself that things will happen the way I would like them to. So I don't think I give myself enough respect and I think a lot of people are like that. So it's true, if you don't respect yourself, not even as a business owner, if you don't respect yourself as a person, as a mother, as a friend, as a daughter, it does not matter. How can other people? It's kind of insane, but that really, really did speak to me. And then, what else did I get? Ooh, yeah. So, show up and be consistent. That's huge, because that's not just 
for this convention. That is not just for Unique. That is life. I mean, there's times where you lose touch with people and then you're not close anymore or there's times that you lose touch but then you start right back up to where you were before. But I am going to make it my goal to be more consistent in everything that I do. This business and everything. Oh, hi. Oh my gosh. I'm so, oh. so Sophie is amazing. And I really wish you could hear her accent through this because, oh my God, I met her at convention and she's amazing and super awesome. And her accent is, oh, okay. Um, let's see. Also, if your battery is not recharged, you cannot give anything to anyone. Now, as a mom, that spoke to me because there's times where I am super drained. I have no energy. I have no nothing. But I have to somehow push through because, you know, that's what I have to do. But I feel like when I do that, it takes away from other things. Say, like my business being unique. I don't have the energy sometimes. So I really just have to recharge my soul, if you will. Because if I'm not, I don't have the energy to actually go live. I don't have the energy to want to do anything. So keep yourself recharged. Because otherwise, what good are you to anyone if you are just like drained? That's not good. Let's see what else. Hmm. <laughs> Success. What is success? Now, I generally, if you were to answer that, you'd probably say it's like something that you feel. It's something that you become. But technically, the definition is really cool. The way you can word it is it's not a destination or a goal to get to. It is just a feeling. So, you can say, if I get to this level in my life, in my business, if I reach this status, anything, if I get this promotion, I'll be successful. But what if you get there and you're not happy because there's always something above that, right? So it's not, success isn't like, okay, I'm just gonna get there and be done because then your head's gonna hit the roof and you can't grow. And we all need to grow, we're human beings and it makes sense to grow. So it's a feeling. I feel successful in my family and I can confidently say that. I have three wonderful kids, a very super, super supportive husband. I love my life, my family life, I adore it. Granted, I get frustrated and tired sometimes, but that just happens with kids. But with Unique, I can tell that I definitely lost that feeling because I got down on myself and I was too hard on myself. So I am now going to not put a goal in front of me. I am gonna do what makes me feel successful. That's not a goal. That is, hey, if I do this live, you know what? I kind of feel successful because it's something I've been wanting to do and I've been putting it off. So look, now I'm doing it and I feel good about it. But it's not a goal because there's more after this. I have to push harder. So there's that. Let's see. <laughs> Another, uh, another actual person said, get your head out of your ass. And honestly, that's great. <laughs> I just thought it was super funny. So basically, we went through a thing and it said, break through limiting beliefs. So basically, you're limiting what you feel that you can do. Hence where the get your head out of your ass thing is. And then she proceeded to say, just decide and go for it. Set the intention and do it. Do not give your chance, do not give yourself a chance to not do it. Just don't even question. Go for it. Let's see. Comparisons. So we all compare ourselves to other people in life. 
which is what we do. Everyone does it, it's human nature. You can't help it. Oh, that girl's makeup is amazing. I wish I could do that wing. That person's hair is amazing. I wish I could grow my hair like that. How does she curl it? That person's job is so successful. I wish I could be that person and have that job. Comparison is gonna steal your joy because it's gonna take everything that you feel happy about in your life, take it away. You're no longer gonna feel happy about that because that person in your head has something better that you think you want, but is that really your goal? Is that your destination? Is that where you're gonna go? Probably not because everyone's different. So, let's see. There's really not that much more on this. And then I'm going to show you this fun swag that I got. Let's see. Don't ever give up on your vision. That's just very self-explanatory. Oh, here's this one that I think people need to hear sometimes. You don't have to like it. You just have to do it. You don't have to like it. You don't have to like going to work. You just have to do it because you have to pay the bills. You don't have to like being nice to people, but you should just do it because it's the nice thing to do. I mean, it should, that can go in very many things. I may not always have the energy to go live, but I like going live, there's a difference. But I am just gonna do it because I'm gonna make myself push through. So that one's kind of a thing. Let's see. See, there wasn't like a ton of notes. I mean, there was like things that I took, but it was one of those things. But let's see. So my thing after this, I just wanted to, hey Nikki, you missed some fun inspirational quotes, but you can always rewatch it or I can tell you on the phone. Okay, so that's what I really, really, really got out of convention. It was the making new friends. It was the knowing that you're learning stuff as you're there. And as someone said, and I think everyone sometimes needs to keep telling themselves this, whenever you feel that you can't do something for whatever reason, I was told to step into your greatness. Step into who you are because there was another quote that I wrote down. It said that makes you feel small. It was something like that. Um, yeah, okay, overwhelming. So you know when you feel overwhelmed in life? Oh my gosh, this is due. Oh my gosh, that is due. I have to be here at this time, but there's traffic on this way and, and, and this, you know, all of it. You feel overwhelmed. And when you feel overwhelmed, you're, you, you slightly give up. You get all frustrated and you just give up. So, overwhelm is, the tr is, it basically tricks your mind to keep you small. So, you just stop. And then when you stop, what wins? Not the being successful part. You literally are this small because you stopped. And whatever you focus on grows. If you focus on yourself, if you focus on your job, if you focus on your kids, if you focus on your relationship, that grows. It's like when you water a plant, it will grow. Well, most of them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Some people have had bad luck with plants. I'm not really sure. But so just think about all of that. I mean, it really is such a great, great opportunity. Oh, and you get some free stuff. Do you want to go on that? Okay, let's do that. So first of all, you get this awesome, unique bag. It's a white bag. It has unique on it. And in this, we got this book. What else did we get? We had our badge. Let's see. Ooh, that's some fun stuff. We have the new catalog that came out, which is amazing. They actually used real presenters, not models. They used real presenters and literally took them out to the thing 
and they gave them a makeover and did all that fun stuff and then bam this is real people which is cool all right so for free let me tell you so they have eight eight new eyeshadows coming out eight they gave us four of them for free and they are super pretty and they are part of the peach collection so if any of you out there like kind of nude color every day wear even during the day doesn't have to be nighttime or dark these are amazing so this one what is this one let's see this one is called melodocious I know the lighting in here is not the greatest. I'm actually gonna do a live with these with the actual bright light. This one is called Dauntless. Look at that, just a really like simple color. This one is gorgeous. It's called Zazzy and it is a green shimmer. Look at that. And then this one is called Earthy, which is a brown color, which is Neutral of all neutral, but super pretty. So, we got these four for free out of eight. So, these are new colors. New colors. And then, okay, are you guys ready for this? Oh, man, I don't even know where to go from here. What is this? Okay. They came out coming out came out we got it first it's not available yet but oh my god okay so this is a okay you know how before you put on your foundation you put primer on well you should put primer on not to prime is a crime uh it makes your foundation stay on all day long it makes it not look cakey it makes you look flawless it's you need it in your life just just know that they came out with a hydrating face primer so they have a regular face primer that has like a silicone base. This one, oh my gosh, it feels like I can't even. It almost feels like you're putting lotion on your face, but it's primer. And it hydrates your face, obviously, but as you're wearing your makeup all day, which is huge because who does not not want a hydrated face. I do. It keeps it healthier. And then next, I don't know if this color is going to come up, but I'm going to try. They came out with a new eyeliner. Actually, this is not a new eyeliner. I got this for free. I lied. I wish they come out with this thing. I mean, never know. They might, but they came out with these. It is a purple, purple eyeliner. And it's amazing. Let's see. Now this right here. Okay. So you know how you have face primer. You know how you have eyeshadow primer. Like eye primer. They came out with lash primer. It is Moonstruck, Moonstruck Epic Lash Primer. This goes on before you put your mascara on. It goes on white, and then you put your mascara on right after. And what it does, it actually conditions your eyelashes to make them like healthy and stuff. But it also primes your eyelashes so your mascara stays on longer and goes on amazingly. I feel like this is going to be a game changer. Speaking of eyelashes kind of like a three part thing. So you have your lash primer. Before you go to bed, they actually do have, this is a big deal guys. So they have a lash serum, which helps your eyelashes grow. Victor, which has your, with help, which helps your eyelashes grow. You put this on at nighttime, just on the tips kind of thing. Be careful because I've done it and it burned my eyes before, so don't go crazy with it. <laughs> this used to be $42 because it's really, really good and it definitely, definitely works. It's now $24. 
they literally just slash that. And this will make such a difference in your eyelashes and you must, must consider this. So if you do your serum at nighttime to make your eyelashes grow, and then you do the primer before you put on your mascara, it will condition your eyebrow, your eyelashes as you wear it and prolong your mascara wear. Now this right here is magic. This is the 4D Epic Mascara. This will literally make your eyelashes look like you're wearing falsies. Okay. Um, it's, I just can't even. <laughs> These all are $24. And then there's also not just like the 4D one. There is a regular mascara as well, which is amazing too, in its own right. I actually like kind of go back and forth. So I use like the regular Epic certain days and then I have a waterproof mascara the next day or whatever days and then I have the 4D when I want that va boom. So just so you know, that is a thing. You need to all be aware of these fun, fun things. Oh, and we got these fun glasses. So Bethany is my sponsor and she is, meeting her in person was amazing because I've always seen her in my phone. <laughs> And I, you know, it's one of those things. And meeting her in person, she challenges you. She pushes you. She literally like grabs answers out of your soul somehow. That's just what she does. And I really did get a chance to sit down with her the last night we were there. I'm so glad we went out that night because I got really good conversation with her that day, that night. And she told me so much stuff that was helpful that I needed to hear. It was like a swift, nice kick in the butt. And we were talking about what we got out of convention and you know, what's the things that we took out of it for ourselves kind of thing. So that was super amazing. And uh, convention next year is going to be in Denver, Colorado. And I'm going, like it's going, it's happening, it's going. I've been, I've been wanting to go to Denver for so long. Now I have a reason to go. Uh, hello, it's like fate. But because of that, I am going to be pushing myself harder and harder. And I am going to be doing as many lives as I can, as many tutorials that I can. I wanna show you guys my life. I wanna show you who I am. And I wanna make you all feel beautiful and happy. It's not just about makeup. Makeup is just on your skin. You need to feel good in here. So if I can help with that, I will. Makeup just helps because it makes you feel pretty and then it makes you feel pretty inside sometimes. But either way, oh, look at this fun bag. Super fun bag. And then what else? There's this fun bag where it's like unique black and then unique white. I just can't. There was so much going on, it's insane, but I just wanted to kind of get on here and let you all know that I'm here for you. I really, really am. And I want to be more present. I am going to make my, set my intentions to being there, to going live more. I want to improve your lives. I want to make friends. This business is not just a business. Yes, if I make sales, will it help my family? Absolutely. But will it also make some like, like some lovely woman out there happy as well? Feel beautiful, feel happy, feel accepted? I feel like if I can help with that in any way, I will. So let me know. Um, what you liked about this video and maybe drop it in the comments or shoot me a message you know anything that spoke out to you or reached your reached your heart <laughs> um also what was i gonna say if you're watching the replay please do hashtag replay on the bottom that would be amazing and that was kind of everything that I had for tonight. I just really wanted to tell everyone about the experience. There is gonna be a part two that I wanna do because 
There is something called the Unique Foundation. And this foundation I did not really know about a lot before I went to convention. And they really do help a lot of people who have been abused and stuff. Not just and stuff, but you know what I mean. I don't want to make this sound insensitive. They really do help people who have been abused. Mentally, physically, sexually. They, they, it's a thing. And I really want to give that video justice by doing it by itself. So I am going to do that after I kind of get some facts together that I don't already have. Like I know some stuff, but I want to get like fact facts. So I'm going to do that separate to give it the justice that it deserves. And that way I can come back and see you guys. And I hope you watch that because that would be amazing. Um, it's a great learning thing. It's a great eye opener. And I think everyone needs that sometimes. But enjoy the rest of your evening. I know it's late. I know everyone was super up super early for their kids for school today. I was too. I've been up since 6.45 today. So I am exhausted. But that is what I have for tonight. Thank you for hanging out with me. And like I said, do hashtag replay if you watched it. And then when you watch it, either send me a message or comment in the comments. Post the comments um, about what you liked, what stood out to you. And that would be so helpful to me. And thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Everyone get some sleep. I know I'm going to. I am passing out. I'm actually going to watch like a little bit of Once Upon a Time because I am super behind. And then I'm going to pass out. But have a good night and I'll talk to you all soon.